Named partially for its ruby red color, the drug doxorubicin has become a mainstay in the treatment of breast cancer for decades. Linda Nazareth has been treated with it, and so was her grandmother nearly 50 years ago. Even then, there were questions about the impact it may have on a woman's heart. She would start getting sick as soon as they started the medicine, and it did damage her heart. But how much damage is done, and just who is at risk, are questions doctors still can't answer with much certainty. Taking a breath. So researchers at Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital are using high-definition technology to try and answer those decades-old questions. Normally, when breast cancer patients are treated with this drug, doctors keep tabs on their hearts by using echocardiograms. But those may have their drawbacks. By the time changes manifest on the echocardiogram, indicating decreased heart function, it's already too late. The damage is done. So Dr. Charles Shapiro and his team are taking a different approach. During chemotherapy sessions, they're not only collecting blood from patients, but they're also putting them through state-of-the-art cardiac MRIs, using crystal clear images to search for even the smallest signs of damage. You can see swelling or edema occurring at very early stages. Um, you can also see valvular changes that, that you may not otherwise see as well. Doctors insist doxorubicin is generally safe and only a small percentage percentage of women may be at risk for heart damage, but knowing exactly who they are and when the damage may occur could help them treat even more women more effectively. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.